Okay, so I'm back with the Sublime series and in this episode, we are going to learn about the PHP Companion package. Obviously, if you are using Laravel or any other framework, it doesn't matter. You have to import many classes from your project and here PHP Companion is very useful for you. With that, I'm your host Sarthak and welcome back to Bitfumes. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe because here I talk about Laravel and Laravel related things. Okay, so let's start the video and obviously I have to firstly install the PHP Companion. So let's start and press Ctrl Shift and P. So I have package controller installed. So hit enter and it's giving the all list of packages for the sublime now search for php companion so php companion and here it is so let's hit enter and it's installing you can see at the bottom and it's installing still and completed so let's go to controller we have on a level which is inside app http controller and here it is controller and let's say here i want to use the model simply the model that model name is user so i have this model and let's say i will find by id1 it doesn't matter what i am doing the matter is i want to import user model here so i have to say user app sorry use app user and done but instead what you can do i will just undo this you will just go here press ctrl shift and p and say here find use so you can see the first one is php companion find use and when you hit enter and it's just asking you for which one you are going to use so i am going to use this because it's a model so i will use this and hit enter and you can see it's just right here so it's very good thing but obviously i don't want to do like this shift control p and then find use obviously i want a shortcut that means the key binding so let's see how we will use the key binding here okay so i will go preferences key binding and here I will say keys colon and inside square brackets here I will type the keys so key will be control plus let's say alt plus I want to import I want to find use so I can say F it's nice then comma and here then the command and here comes the issue I don't know what the command is so for that I will just comment this for this time close this and I think if you are following me you know how to check a command so I will go to tool and no not tool go to view <laughs> and show console and here I will just type sublime dot log underscore commands and true hit enter and it's giving error because spelling of true is wrong and yep it's now giving every command you are doing even clicking so let's go click here control shift and p find use hit enter and you can see the command name is find use okay so that's the thing which we want so let's press escape go to key binding again and where it is yeah and uncomment this and for the command i want find use simple as that i don't want to purchase it now save this close this and now just click on the user press ctrl alt f and you can see it's just asking for which one you are you want to use so just hit enter and it's there so let's do one thing so you can see we have this request i don't want to 
do like this if I will use request here like this okay so just I want to use this at the top so control alt F and it's done so you can use this one this one this one I think this one is good so it's done okay so it's very useful when you have a model inside many folder like if you have app model then let's say products and much more obviously the slash will be here okay so here is the php companion and if you like this episode please give it a thumbs up don't follow forget to subscribe don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram and if you have any problem please feel free to comment me and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye